Mama. How are you here? No, I'm not who you think I am, child. I'm but a shadow, a flicker of fire, a projection before you. The finite cannot comprehend the infinite. Your limited senses cannot imagine what you've never seen, nor fathom what you've never heard. I am the answer to your desperate prayers. I am the blindfold before you see daylight. I'm the reflection of your confused, hollow faces in the water. I am the lingering echo of the last visitor. But you look just like Mama. This is the last obstacle of the test. The gate of truth is just ahead, right? And here you are, standing in front of me. Does that mean that you finally reached the transcendental realm? So my conjecture was right. And our model did not fail, correct? <laughs> the Transcendental Realm? You speak adorable nonsense, my dear daughter. Did you really believe what I said? <laughs> you silly little goose! <laughs> Have you not doubted, even for a moment? You did. You wavered when you strolled the shores at night, when you inevitably gazed at the geometric bodies. If they really are manifestations of the transcendental world, why can't I find Mama's number in the broken pieces? You thought. Why can't I hear her voice? Why can't I see their patterns? The darkness blinds me. I miss you, Mama. Huh. Oh, my poor, sweet daughter. You are too young and naive, too attached to what is familiar and too trusting of your teachings. You should have continued doubting instead of following my outdated footsteps. Was the conjecture wrong? Was the model correct? It does not matter, child. The rules of the game have changed. The Chaos Makers, the Fear Mongers, and the Rule Shapers, they have already outpaced us. We were not wrong, we simply fell behind. We were blinded by the dream of the transcendental realm and could not see through reality. But worry not, my daughter. You have made it here, and that is all that matters. We will do the calculations together. This time, the results will be more accurate than ever. Mama! This world is an enormous wasteland, 37. Look at the creations in it. The congested, silent herds that scurry to and fro in their meaningless lives. Never have they looked at the stars above nor bent to smell the flowers. The melodies of the patterns above go unheard by them, their souls unresonant to their wisdom. 
They are the prisoners of their bodies, complacent in their dulled senses, and conceited over their success of ruling the planet through violence and bloodshed. They mocked us, shunned us, and slaughtered us. They discriminated against us throughout the ages, branded us as lunatics, and spat on what we held dear. But we never gave up once. We were never truly defeated. One day, they will be proven wrong, and they will be forced to admit it. My daughter, my precious little pearl. Come to me, back in your mother's arms. Let us return to a time before disputes and disasters, when it was just you and me wandering the boundless beach. I will share with you the infinite secrets of this world, the essence of all things, and the truth that transcends everything. That's what you came for, yes? But Mama, I am 37, not infinity. Why would I want an infinite number of secrets? The ground is shaking. Did she give the wrong answer? I don't long for the infinite secrets, for it is not within the scope of my number! I know who I am. I am only 37, a finite number, a pebble in the sand. The tides could wash over me, engulf me, and crush me at any moment. Even so, I am glad to be 37. For I know my limits. I know my boundaries. A concept these supreme existences cannot even fathom. Clearly promised me an answer. Is it because the answer to my question 
The transcendental truth is outside of our limits too.